All right. Hey, what's going on, missioners? Okay, so <clears throat> Venus and Pisces rounding and ba- and boundaries. So I'm grounding myself right now, bare feet on the ground, and I wanted to share something with you that I'm learning about, like boundaries and grounding. As a Venus and Pisces, sometimes we over consume ourselves with our the people in our lives. And the way to control that is you be exactly what they need you to be and who who they show you that they are and what you can be that is in alignment with your priorities and goals. So, as a Venus in Pisces, I tend to project, and Leo rising, I tend to project and say, oh, you need this, and you need that, and you need this, and you need that. And it goes highly underappreciated and undervalued. And I'm realizing that that person can't handle it. They don't need me to be that. They don't need that information. They don't care to respond. Or they don't care to become what I I think of them. And this is also part of that Piscean energy of saying, um, you see people better than what they are. And the danger in that is if you see somebody to, if you see somebody That is better than who they are. And you give your insight. Like I saw a lady and I really appreciate her love and respect. It's refreshing for the masculine energy. She posted and she's very beautiful. She said, if a man gives you guidance, wisdom, insight be appreciative of it if he shares his wisdom his 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 guidance especially if it can make your life easier appreciate it because if it's genuine the worst thing you want to do and here's my here's my add on to it is be is not be receptive to it and then attract the opposite Someone who uses you, abuses you, mistreats you, uh, and puts you in the wrong direction because you're constantly not heeding the proper guidance from the masculine. Um, Because you do have to get polarity, you feel me? But what I would say is, as a guide, as a lover, and as as a... Aid to women in this world and men, but women primarily, from my understanding. You have to be stoic, grounded, and detached. Like every time I deal with an Aquarius, I'm learning to be healthily detached to how I make them feel, especially if what I said is the truth. Detach from overly nurturing them, especially if they're not used to being nurtured. Like I said, and like I saw an Aries woman, fine as hell. She said, if you're calling, texting, and making sure somebody's good. It's not even if you're just an intimate friend. But you're just making sure they're okay. And they make you feel like you're needy. And I and I and it, it not, not only did it trigger me, but it made me understand in wisdom that I was like, yo, um, you have to 
understand sometimes your be based on how they grew up, your love is foreign to them. Your love is a foreign language. So you can't take it personal when they don't understand you. If their love, if your type of love is a foreign language to them, if they're used to men mistreating them, um, they're used to men hurting them, they're used to men not coming through, um, when you are a person who comes through, who do what he say he's going to do, who is blunt and direct, but not disrespectful, because especially if you're used to guys being disrespectful, meaning like they intentionally insult you, um, but not hurt hurt your feelings with the truth. That's not disrespectful. That's just being honest. And that's one thing that young lady took the, the, the my my I, was, I call my auntie would say it as well. She was like, she would be like, we need to stop being co- so concerned with it hurting our feelings because we don't grow because because you missing what he said because it hurts our feelings. Um. And I, like I was telling the Aries woman, ironically, the, 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 the who I just mentioned, who I was just talking about was a Libra. And the other woman that I talked about, who I found on TikTok was, elite, was an Aries. And I said, your love is like a foreign language. So sometimes you have to ask, especially if it's a man, what's his relationship with his mother? And who's in his life that actually give a fuck about him? Like when I tell you they give a fuck. They, they they actually do what you're doing. They call to see how you're doing. They make sure he's okay. They make sure he's good. Like, just, just, just regular adult shit. Like, they really make sure he's a, he's he has a sound mind. Bro, you need to vent. You know, whatever. And I ain't gonna hold you, including myself. Most men don't have that. Most men don't have somebody that they can go to emotionally, mentally, spiritually that will make that will keep them accountable, that will ground them, that will give them a sound mind. They 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 help them help them grow and continue or stay or become a person of a sound mind. Um, I know as a young man, I have to develop that myself. Um, I don't have nobody to really go to outside of the resources I have and trusting my inner guidance. Um, nobody's in the real capable position to give me the wisdom that I really want, or I would say need, um, um, without deterring me from my path. And that's, that's the huge thing that I look for. Do you have the wisdom to help me push myself, grow, be accountable without deterring me from my path, telling me it's wrong because you see hardship? Um... And um, usually, I don't have nobody. I, when I did have it, we weren't that close. Um, I didn't really vent to her because she was emotionally unavailable, like, or she was emotionally flip floppy. And and I wish, I wish we had a better friendship. I wish, I wish she was more emotionally available. Available. She wasn't as cold and. Not just rigid, but like absent because somebody taught her that her emotions don't matter. Her feelings don't matter. Her, her, her ambitions don't matter. Her goals don't matter. And, um, and, or keep your opinion to yourself. Keep your wisdom to yourself. Keep your love to yourself. And, or they controlled her and made her feel abused and, 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 and don't have boundaries and all this other stuff. So therefore, she was not available to uh, have that. Or be that. So sometime with a Venus and Pisces, you need to be detached emotionally to a person and make sure your own cup is filled 
all the time. Make sure you're not coming from a place of, and it's gonna, it's more challenging because, especially if you weren't raised like myself to fill, you weren't raised to fill your own needs. And when you were, when you were, when you were trying to fill your own needs, you were ashamed for it, right? Um, make sure you're coming from a place of your cup is runneth over. And when you come from a place of your cup is runneth over, whatever they do or do not do does not affect you. It's a very challenging discipline. But when you're when you come from a place of your cup runneth over, whatever they do or do not do doesn't affect you deeply. But you observe how they react or they respond. And you treat them according to what they're showing you instead of what you feel. It's a challenging discipline. But you got to step back and observe emotionally. Not just observe their physical like a Virgo. Sometimes that's important. But it's observe their emotions. Observe their energy. And if you say, if you see they're not it, they're not responding, they're not, they're not, they're not, they're not doing it. They're not, they're not flowing. It's not a flow of, you know, and it flow and exchange. That's very important. It's not a flow and exchange. Cut the pipe off. Don't keep flowing water into their ocean and you know they're not receiving you. Um, and last but not least, um, I'm learning. To protect my emotions for when somebody is going through something instead of feeling bad and giving them some guidance, which is something I do naturally, but not going overboard to help them, but just giving them something to where they can help themselves. And if they are not a participant in helping themselves, that is the reason why they fail, not because I didn't help them. So like, share, and subscribe if you're on my YouTube channel. Um, book the session with a link in my bio or the link description below. Peace.